We really didn't. We cared about practicing really well. We, we were focused on having a great practice on Tuesday and how tough nine on seven was gonna be and how competitive it would be in the team period at the end of practice. Um, it wasn't about what did we look like walking around town. And so I don't, I don't know the difference. Um, I guess to some degree, there's, it's very similar. I, I, I really don't think Cody cares. I, you know, and, and I'm not trying to diminish anything here about the Heisman or what we're supposed to be. I think the guy just wants to go practice with his teammates. You know, I think Sua just wants to be with, in the weight room with Ivan Lewis and, and getting better. And, 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 I, and I really think that that's how that, those teams were too. You know, I mean, we can talk about Reggie and Liner and all these guys and Cushing and Clay Matthews. You know what made them great? They worked hard. They worked really, really hard. And that's what made them great. Now they're talented, but I think our team now has embodied a lot of the similar characteristics of that, more so than how they're viewed in the public around LA. I think they've just got a great work ethic about them that I'm very appreciative of. Coach, talk about uh, Dory Jackson. He come, he's coming off a great track sure. season. Uh, talk, what is he going to be doing this year? The Dory Jackson, uh, one of, if not the best, athletes I've ever been associated with. And I'm sure I'll get a call from Reggie about that one, too. Um, Dory's a phenomenal athlete. Uh, to think about a guy as a true freshman who started at corner, played wide receiver, returned kicks, uh, was just fantastic all year long, comes out, participates in spring practice, at the same time as practicing for track, goes out, wins the long jump championship in the Pac-12, which is an amazing accomplishment, finishes fourth in the 100 meters uh, in the Pac-12, and is the leg, the anchor on the four by 100 team for our school. Uh, phenomenal. So how are we gonna use them? The best way we can without killing the poor kid, you know, uh, as the season goes on. He, he's very, very talented. A lot will be dependent upon how some of our other DBs progress and how much we can use them on the offensive side of the ball. Um, but I would be remiss if I didn't try to get the ball in his hands because he can score at any moment. He's one of those guys, when you see him out there and you know the ball's coming to him, you stop. You stop the conversation, you hold your breath, and you almost stand up to see what's going to happen. How difficult is it to recruit Well, I think the thing in our conference of what's going on right now, I said this earlier, I think the conference has really invested in recruiting. That, that sounds kind of odd to say, but everybody's got facilities. Everybody's got private planes. Everybody's got new gear. Everybody's doing something to, to try to stay on the cutting edge of what's going on in recruiting. For us, yeah, sure, we do those same things. We have those same things. But at the end of the day, we fall right back on our rich history, tradition, our amazing university, being in Los Angeles, the number two media market in the world. Um, you think about the fact that 11 national championships, six Heisman trophies, uh, more NFL Hall of Famers than any other university. So there's a lot that we can hold on to that I think is very appealing to kids. Um, we're not going to take the field in 13 different uniforms in 13 games this fall. We're going to wear Cardinal and Gold, and you guys know what we wear. So we have to lean on the things that are true to us and who we are, and I think that's why kids come here. It, it, it is what they're looking for. Steve, what's this? Blair said, you stressed the importance of the 2015 class over and over again. I know some positions are going to hopefully see playing other than that sooner than others, but how soon and how much do you foresee those freshmen? It's probably a better question a week or two in the training camp, and I know you'll be there and you'll ask me. 
it's hard to tell, you know. Um, we've got some guys coming off of injury, and Jabari Ruffin, Lamar Dawson, Tony Bigelow, Trey Madden. Um, so I, I don't exactly know who, what, where, how, and why and exactly is going to fit in and how much they're going to play. I know we're going to give every one of those guys an opportunity to compete. Um, they're going to get thrown in with our first units right off the bat, day one, day two. Um, some guys are going to perform. Some guys are going to be a little wide-eyed and, and not perform great. But I, but I do know this class, I think, in the end, is going to win a lot of football games for us. Um, how much they contribute as true freshmen as compared to what they contribute as maybe a junior to senior, I, I think that remains to be seen, quite honestly. That, that wouldn't be fair to those guys to put all of that on them.